Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So today what I want to do is look at aluminum capacitors that you find on circuit boards and answer the question, are they worth taking off and separating them, selling them as dirty aluminum or leaving them on the circuit boards uh, for weight? And what I have behind me is three pounds of circuit boards. Uh, I have already removed things like the aluminum heat sinks, the transformers, um, uh, because I am going to make more money on those separately. Um, but the aluminum capacitors is something that I want to do an experiment to see if they are worth taking apart as well uh, to see if I can make more money. Currently, the scrapyard that I go to, these circuit boards would go for e-waste price, which is five cents a pound. So three pounds, I have 15 cents worth of uh, circuit boards. Um, it depends on your scrapyard. Some scrapyards will categorize circuit boards as high grade, medium grade, low grade. So a circuit board like this would, because of the gold on the bottom here, would go for higher value at some scrapyards. Uh, or online, there are s different websites that you can sell these on. However, my scrapyard puts it all together, so I do cut this off and put it into a container for myself to eventually refine it myself. Um, these capacitors do come in different sizes. Those are some smaller ones. There's a bigger one in comparison. Some of them have the shiny top. Uh, some of them have the black. Uh, and I do want to point out that I have called two scrapyards to find out prices. The first scrapyard actually couldn't even give me a price. They asked me what's inside of them. Uh, they don't even have a market for them. Um, and just to give you a little bit of information on these, if I put a magnet to it, these are non-magnetic. The outside is aluminum. Inside there is some rubber as well. There is an aluminum foil that goes around um, the mechanism inside. The other scrapyard did say that they would pay five cents a pound for these. However, he also mentioned that because some of them are very light, it would take a lot of them uh, to build up a pound. So just curiosity and to answer that question to see if it's worth it. So here we go. Very easy to take these off. I have already taken off three. Uh, I have a scale right here. Just gonna turn that for you. Uh, I have a, a bin. I have, as I said, already weighed these four circuit boards here um, and just gonna pull them off. So we're gonna turn this on. First of all, my scale. There we go. And I'm gonna have to reset it so it's at zero. And there we go. So zero, there's three. I got one now, 1 1.8 ounce already, or 1.8 ounce already. So very simple, as I said, to take these apart. I'm just gonna grab a pair of pliers here. There's my pliers. And I'm just gonna actually bend them off. I also wear safety glasses, as you can see, just to eliminate any possibility, okay? But just take it, twist, done. Take it, boom, done. Okay, and am I gonna take all of them? Ah. Uh, Probably. Some of them are very tiny, as you can see there, the little one there. But I'll take them all for this. And I'm sure there's other methods, people, you could use. There you go. So that circuit board's done. I'm just going to do this one here because it's got some other ones on it. Uh, get this big one here for sure. There it is. Sometimes they have uh, a little bit of um, wire on the bottom, so I actually have to cut that. Where's my cutter? There it is. Just gonna speed up the process, get that little pin off. There we go. So the bigger ones sometimes are harder to get. And it's not hard to get them off. Oh, fumble. Am I at, what am I at? Three ounces right now. Okay, so that's two down. I'm gonna start with this one, try to get some weight on here. I'm gonna just 
turn this over. There we go. And sometimes, actually, if you just take your finger, you can actually work it out this way, too. So it might actually be easier. This one, larger one. And that's six. So there we go. I'm just going to swing it around here, see if I'm worth it. Uh, as said, um, I do take off other items um, for sure. Relay boxes, I love taking those off because of the gold inside, or sorry, the silver inside. Um, there is some little bit of copper inside as well. The aluminum heat sinks, uh, if I was to bring in the clean aluminum, that's 45 cents a pound. Um, and I have done separate videos on looking at uh, depopulating taking off the aluminum heat sinks. Very well worth your time and effort. Uh, you're definitely gonna make more money, especially if you do some research. Um, if you call the scrapyard, ask them if they take, you know, or if they categorize their circuit boards into high grade, low grade. Um, again, it depends on country and region. Different scrapyards have different rules and different uh, items that they take. All right, so I'm gonna take the last couple of big ones here. So here we go. Oh, I got one more little one. I wanna make sure for this experiment that it's accurate. There we go, last one. Oh, I got two little ones. I'm gonna cut these like that. I'm looking here, I don't know. So as I said, three pounds. I also got to factor in time it takes, so I don't know how much time I'm at right now. Uh, it doesn't take long. So oh, there you go, there's number three. Here's my last circuit board. And as you can see, there's not much on here. Just a couple little heat sinks, or capacitors. Okay, now. And as I said, little ones here, these are not going to amass as much. I have, just from that, seven ounces. Okay, and I'm going to cheat just a little bit. So definitely, you can tell, not worth it there. Um, I'm just going to see. I've got a couple more bigger ones. See if that gives me any more. Nine ounces. So not even a pound, not even half a pound. Uh, 16 ounces in a pound. So I got, let's say, half of a pound there, half a pound, I would get 2.5 cents for the capacitors um, from just three pounds of circuit boards. So not worth the time to take it off, um, but a good experiment to try. So it all depends on you as well. Some people will scrap everything. Some people will try and sell these online um, as capacitors, but taking them off, separating them to get dirty aluminum price at five cents a pound is not worth your time. It will take a lot of them to build up weight, as you can see. Um, but uh, as I said, wanted to try the experiment, answer that question. Uh, had a few people ask me about aluminum capacitors, and now we know. So hopefully you found that informative, at least entertaining. Um, don't waste your time taking these off. Um, and again, if you do, make sure you contact your scrapyard to see if they will even take them. Please comment down below, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video. Tin Man out.